The NBA has been around for nearly 75 years, and throughout those 75 years, the league has been graced with its fair share of incredible scorers, rebounders, and passers, who have permanently marked their name in the NBA's record book with truly unforgettable individual performances. Let's take a look at the 10 craziest stat lines in NBA history. Wilt Chamberlain, Philadelphia Warriors, 1960, regular season. Stat line, 34 points, 55 rebounds. Wilt Chamberlain wasn't just a scoring machine. He was an absolute beast on the glass, too. Wilt led the league in rebounding in 11 of his 14 seasons as a pro. But the 55 rebounds he pulled down in a matchup against the Celtics in 1960 will go down as his greatest rebounding feat ever. Wilt was so commanding in the paint and on the glass that the league had to change its rules to keep him away from the basket. It eventually widened the lane to 16 feet, prohibited offensive goaltending, and determined that a free throw shooter can't cross the line until his shot hits the rim. Because of Chamberlain's massive seven foot one frame and incredible athleticism, Wilt also scored 34 points during his record rebounding game, but his Philadelphia Warriors actually lost that night, falling to his nemesis, Bill Russell, 132 to 129. David Robinson, Spurs, 1994, regular season. Stat line, 34 points, 10 rebounds, 10 assists, 10 blocks, 2 steals. During the 1994 season, David Robinson did something that only three other players, Nate Thurmond, Hakeem Olajuwon, and Alvin Robertson, have in NBA history. He recorded the NBA's fourth ever quadruple double, finishing with 34 points, 10 rebounds, 10 assists, and 10 blocks, to go with two steals and a Spurs win over the Pistons. The historic game from Robinson came during one of the most dominant stretches of his career, and Detroit just happened to be one of the teams unfortunate enough to get in his way as he tore through the rest of the league. Robinson's deep arsenal of skills was on full display that night against the Pistons. He powered through double teams, nailed mid-range jumpers, and sent back opponent shots with authority. One area of his game which really stood out that night was the soft touch on a few of his passes considering Robinson was never regarded as an extremely skilled passer. Russell Westbrook, Thunder, 2019, regular season. Stat line, 20 points, 20 rebounds, 21 assists. Anytime that the only other player in NBA history to replicate your stat line is Wilt Chamberlain, you know you're in some pretty exclusive company. In 2019, Mr. Triple Double, Russell Westbrook, went berserk in a Thunder win over the Lakers tallying 20 points, 20 rebounds, and 21 assists, matching Chamberlain as the only player in NBA history to reach or surpass 20 points, 20 rebounds, and 20 assists in a single game. The craziest part of Westbrook's stat line was that he opened the game ice cold and scored a grand total of zero points in the first quarter. He pulled down his final rebound of the game with 41 seconds remaining in regulation tying a bow on one of the greatest single-game performances in NBA history. Wilt Chamberlain, Philadelphia Warriors, 1962, regular season stat line, 100 points, 25 rebounds, 2 assists. Wilt Chamberlain's 100-point game stands alone as the greatest individual performance in NBA history. In what would go down as a 169-147 to win for Wilt's Philadelphia Warriors over the New York Knicks, Wilt took an incredible 63 of his team's 115 field goal attempts and made 36 of them. Wilt's teammate, who had the second most shot attempts that night, was Paul Arizon, who shot the ball only 18 times. Perhaps the most impressive part of Wilt's 100-point performance was his proficiency from the free throw line. Wilt was a career 51% free throw shooter, but somehow converted on 28 of his 32 free throw attempts. Wilt's 100-point game came during a historic 1961-62 season where he averaged 50.4 points per game and played all but eight possible minutes for the Warriors, 3,882 of a possible 3,890, and averaged 48.5 minutes per game. That number may be more superhuman than his 100-point effort. Wilt also pulled down a monster 25 rebounds and even added two assists. To add to Wilt's mystique, his 100-point game wasn't even on TV, and if the iconic picture of him holding a piece of paper with the number 100 on it didn't exist, there would be a lot of doubt if this incredible performance actually took place. Kobe Bryant, Lakers, 2006, regular season, 
Stat line, 81 points, 6 rebounds, 2 assists, 3 steals, 1 block. Kobe's 81 points came in the midst of the best scoring season of Bryant's career. During the 2005-06 season, Kobe averaged a career-high 35.4 points per game and led the league in scoring. But Kobe didn't start out too hot on his road to 81. He tallied just 26 points in the first half, but exploded after halftime, scoring 55 of his 81 points over the third and fourth quarters. Kobe's 81 points came as he led the Lakers from a come-from-behind win over the Raptors as well. With the Lakers trailing by 18 points in the third quarter, Bryant simply exploded, scoring 27 points in the third and 28 in the fourth. He accounted for all but 18 of the Lakers' points in the second half and single-handedly put the game away. Just as his 81 points is the second-highest individual point total ever behind Wilt's 100, Kobe's 55-second half points is also the second-highest point total in a half in NBA history, only behind the 59 points Wilt scored in the second half in his 100-point game. Kobe also added six rebounds, two assists, three steals, and one block that night. Shaquille O'Neal, Lakers, 2000, regular season. Stat line, 61 points, 23 rebounds, three assists. Towards the end of the 1999-2000 season, Shaquille O'Neal decided to celebrate his birthday against his crosstown foe, the lowly Los Angeles Clippers. Shaq finished with 61 points, 23 rebounds, and three assists in a dominant 123-103 Lakers win over the Clippers on his 28th birthday. Some argue that this is actually the most dominant Laker performance of the last decade, not Kobe's 81 points, because Shaq managed to score 61 points on just 35 shots. He missed only nine field goals throughout the entire game and helped captain a Laker comeback that night over the undermanned Clippers. James Harden, Rockets, 2018, regular season, stat line, 60 points, 11 rebounds, 10 assists, 4 steals. There has only been one player in NBA history to score 60 points and record a triple-double. That player is none other than James Harden, who accomplished the feat in 2018 during a Rockets win over the Magic. With Chris Paul sidelined, Harden dominated the ball all night, shooting an efficient 19 of 30 from the field and an absurd 17 of 18 from the free throw line. In typical Harden fashion, he also launched 14 three-pointers. His 60 points was also a Houston franchise record, besting Calvin Murphy's 57-point game in 1978. David Robinson, Spurs, 1994, regular season. Stat line, 71 points, 14 rebounds, 5 assists. Coming into the Spurs' final game of the 1993-94 regular season, David Robinson trailed Shaquille O'Neal by just 33 points for the NBA's scoring title. With the crown in his sights, Robinson erupted for a career-high 71 points on an efficient 63% shooting to lead the Spurs to a blowout win over the Clippers as the Admiral secured the first and only scoring title of his Hall of Fame career. Robinson's 71 points is the eighth-highest individual single-game scoring total in NBA history, and Spurs coach John Lucas played a big role in helping him get to that lofty number. San Antonio constantly fed Robinson the ball, even when he was double and triple teamed for much of the 44 minutes that he played. Scott Skiles, Magic, 1990, regular season. Stat line, 22 points, 30 assists, 6 rebounds, 2 steals. Unlike most of the top stat lines in NBA history, Scott Skiles' historic game in 1990 had more to do with his passing and less to do with his scoring, although he still managed 22 points in a 155-116 to Magic win over the Denver Nuggets. That night, Skiles handed out an NBA record 30 assists and also finished with 6 rebounds and 2 steals. With around 7 minutes remaining in the game, Skiles tallied his 29th assist of the game which tied a previous NBA record, but he set the new mark with little time to spare. With 19.6 seconds left in regulation, Jerry Reynolds converted Skiles' alley-oop for his 30th assist. Devin Booker, Suns, 2017, regular season, stat line, 70 points, 8 rebounds, 6 assists, 3 steals. It came in a losing effort, but Devin Booker made NBA history in 2017. When at just 20 years old, he became the youngest player to score 60 points in a game. But Booker didn't stop at just 60. 
He finished with 70 points to go with eight rebounds, six assists, and three steals for the Suns in their 130-120 loss to the Celtics. Booker only converted four of his 11 three-pointers, but lived at the free throw line, making 24 of his 26 attempts from the charity stripe. Booker joined Wilt Chamberlain, David Robinson, David Thompson, Elgin Baylor, and Kobe Bryant as players to have scored at least 70 points in one game. And it was the 11th game in NBA history in which a single player scored 70 points or more.